Hey guys, got something cool to show you. So I got a lot more LEDs now. There are 144 LEDs total, and it's right now just running some test code. In real life, the display is more red colored, and it doesn't flicker. Notice that we still only have one Arduino Nano over here, and yet we're driving 144 LEDs. Okay, so normally, we have an Arduino connected to an LED just directly like this. However, as you can see, the more LEDs we have, the more pins we will need. So to light up 8 LEDs, we're going to need 8 IO pins. A shift register is a really cool device that would allow you to have more IO pins using just 3 Arduino pins. Let me show you. So here's the shift register. And instead of connecting the LEDs directly to the Arduino like we did over here, we are now connecting it through the shift register in between. So the output of the shift register looks just like these Arduino pins. Instead of using 8 separate digital write to set these LEDs, we now have to send it one bit at a time. Thankfully, the Arduino has a command called shift out that will do that for us. So the sequence of operation is turn off this latch, saying that we are about to send the data bit by bit, but do not reflect it here. So we will set this latch to low, and then we actually use the shift out command to actually send the data bit by bit in here. And then when it's ready, we flip the latch saying, take whatever is in here and flip it out there and then display it here. So that's basically it, just three lines of code. We are now controlling eight LEDs using just three IO pins. But it got better than that. If you try to shift too many bits, more than eight bits into here, it will actually overflow from this right here. And you actually can take this and cascade it onto another shift register. I'm going to draw it small. I'm running out of room. So now we take the same latch. We take the same clock. Basically, these two are connected to the same. But now the data is not coming from the Arduino. The data is going to come from this guy. So when we are shifting the data, and this is full, it will just kind of like cascade through here. So now he will have whatever got pushed over. So if we put in two bytes instead of one byte, the first byte will end up over here and the second byte will end up over here because we just kept on pushing it. So we're pushing 16 bits. And the wonderful thing about that is now this could go on forever. So you can have as many of these shift registers you want, each of them giving you eight bits. The limit is basically how long you're willing to wait for those bits to be shifted through all of the shift registers. In my test, I was able to drive all nine of them. Uh, there's one here and there's one there. So basically the, it goes from the Arduino to this first shift register. The overflow goes to this shift register and then so on and so forth until we have all nine of them. And it's actually working. Shift registers are pretty amazing things and they're pretty inexpensive. Please don't hesitate to leave comments if you have questions. I'll be happy to answer them. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.